In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create um, a YouTube background that looks something like this one that I have on my second channel. Um, so what you need to do is, I'm going to be using Photoshop for this tutorial, and I will um, I will upload a GIMP version of this tutorial onto my second channel later, um, or maybe it will be uploaded by the time I get this uploaded. Um, so what you want to do is download a YouTube uh, template that I have created. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now you can also use this effect for other things. Um, so go ahead and upload that template. Um, now it should look something like this except you will have some extra layers. So you're going to have a background layer that has this blue gradient on it and what you want to do is grab your gradient tool by pressing G um, and if you have your paint bucket tool on then you need to right click on that and select your gradient tool and uh, for your foreground color select a dark blue um, I'm using 000916 and then for your background color you can choose I mean you can always adjust these colors but I'm going to be choosing a dark pinkish color uh, the number the HTML notation is 130008 uh, you can also choose uh, you can also use a dark green that's also a good choice so make sure your rate uh, your gradient is on linear and just drag from the top to the bottom and then create a new layer uh, right above your background layer and set your foreground foreground but background color onto black and white <clears throat> then go to filter render clouds and if you don't have your foreground background color on black and white then the clouds will be a different color which is why you need to set um, your foreground background colors onto black and white then go over into your layers window and select that drop down menu and change uh, the layer mode of this to color dodge then create another new layer and grab your paint bucket tool and paint in that new layer black then go to filter noise add noise <coughs> make sure you have monochromatic checked and for amount I'm gonna go with around 80 percent and then what you want to do is you can um, do this two ways you can either uh, get your lasso tool and um, just kind of randomly choose and make a selection and then press delete or actually go to select modify feather I'm gonna feather this by about 40 and then press delete um, or you can always go in there with the eraser and just get a fuzzy eraser and go in there and just kinda erase sections that you don't want so once you've erased all the areas that you don't want uh, set that layer mode onto color dodge as well um, you can't really see it now but once you zoom in you can see that and now what you want to do is um, so the effect we'll, we will be achieving is something like this uh, so now it de so make sure the general blending mode is on screen now that will only work for the layers that um, are originally black colored so the more boxes layer which is gray won't uh, work so you have to change the default color of that now under drop shadow make sure the blend mode is on color dodge uh, the color is on white, opacity 100, distance 0, spread 0, size 10 and then outer glow, uh, blend mode color dodge, opacity 73 uh, color is on uh, white, uh, spread 0, size 46 and that's it, that's all you need and then you can save that as a layer style and apply it to all the layers now once you've applied this to all the layers um, as you can tell on this last shape 7 layer um, it doesn't blend out so what you need to do is double click on that layer and in the layer styles box um, under advanced blending make sure you select layer mask hides effects um, and this way when you apply um, a layer mask to it the layer mask will not affect the layer but it will uh, it'll just blend it out now apply a layer mask to this by pressing the add layer mask button in your uh, layers window and get your gradient tool 
and make sure you select the gradient FG to transparent, which looks like that, and make sure your foreground color is on black. Now just fade out that last box, like that. Um, and now make another new layer above all your layers, and um, again just have your gradient tool on the FG to transparent gradient, and make sure your foreground color is on black, and just blend that whole bottom section. And there you go, you have your own nice space uh, YouTube background.